Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Star Ocean Till the End of Time. So, let's try again hour in, even though I'm, I'm starting to feel something in terms of uh, sickness. I actually feel like I'm getting a sore throat. Yeah, great. You know, that little tingly sensation before you get sick. I have that. Everyone is here. That was that's a weird like zoom out. Your Majesty. They said they would explain the situation. Oh, yes we are. Please don't take too long for this. Very well. You say you're from another world. You ask us to believe this. Nonsense. Stop wasting Her Majesty's time. Silence, Lacelle. Your Majesty. I understand your surprise. But what we speak is the truth. This is quite sudden, not to mention quite difficult to believe. However, recent events in our country leave me with no choice but to believe. Your Majesty, these people can be trusted. I believe they are telling the truth. And... You say this new enemy will return again? Why would that be? I think that I am their objective. So, you are the cause of this entire affair? I don't want to believe it myself, but yes. Then all we have to do is hand you over to them. Then they will go home, no? I'm, I hope he Let's dies. Say, you are to remain silent. Your Majesty. Can we fight these Vendini with our Thunder Arrow? I can't be sure, but I believe so. The Thunder Arrow would divert the Vendini long enough for us to leave the planet and fix this situation. For the sake of our country, it might indeed be best to simply hand you over to them. However, you are our guest. It would not be proper for us to abandon you now. Your Majesty, you mean... Yes. We shall let you use the Thunder Arrow. Your Majesty, thank you very much. We are grateful, Your Majesty. Yeah, but what are you going to do about the range problem? It's not much good to us if we can't reach them. Yeah, I know. We've got a problem! Watch your tone. You are in the presence of Her Majesty the Queen. I don't care. Someone has infiltrated Kadan. What? Who? What? It was one of those celestial ships, Your Majesty. They landed right next to the shrine. We believe they're headed for the sacred orb. The sacred orb? They wear a strange kind of armor and are equipped with weapons that emit glowing beams of light. The runologists have them stopped for the moment, but they can't do anything against those weapons! At this rate, they'll be at the Sacred Orb in no time. Glowing weapons. Those would be disruptor rifles. They must be remnants of the Vendini fleet. If that's the case, why are they going after the orb instead of us? What's Kadan and what's the Sacred Orb? Kadan is the holy land of our church. It's where the sacred orb is enshrined, a mysterious sphere that emits the purest light. Holy water flows freely from it. It is said that in the hands of Aquarius' ruler, the orb is capable of all kinds of miracles. The waters of this lake which surround Aquios are also of the sacred orb. That's a lot of water. Hmm. Your Majesty, which way is Kadan? To the east of Aquios. I see. Interesting. What in the world? Um... What is it? I'm picking up an energy reading in the location you described that is too technologically advanced for this planet. 
It's even beyond our ability to identify. What? It may be a so-called out-of-place artifact, or OPA. I bet the Vendini detected this sacred orb while they were searching for us. So you think they're after the sacred orb? It's the most likely explanation. If you look back at history, anyone who got their hands on OPAs acquired incredible power. It would pretty much go without saying they'd want it. That's terrible! We can't let them steal our sacred orb! Your Majesty, we must send soldiers immediately! Send us! Yes. Take your unit and make for Kadan at once. Your Majesty. Please, wait a moment, Your Majesty. We are sorry, but we must attend to your business later. Responding to these thieves at Kadan must take precedence. That's what I'm saying. I don't think Aquarius military could stand up to them with their current equipment. We are aware of this, but we cannot let them steal the sacred orb. Look, I'll go to Kadan. What are you thinking? It's my Just shoot laser at them. Here in the first place. <laughs> I have to accept responsibility somehow. Hey, wait a second. You mean we, right? You planning on going there alone? Yep. He's right. Going alone would be suicidal. If you die, then I've come here for nothing. I'm going too. Thank you. Very well. Then we shall leave it to you. Your Majesty, I'll go with them as well. Yes. Please do, as the situation is grave. We give you permission to use the sealed cavern. Show them the way. The sealed cavern? Yes. It is a place in which only members of the royal family are allowed. But I'm making an exception. Do not fail us. Your Majesty. Yeah, it's practically the fastest route. Um, anyway. Also, the whole uh, glowing beams of light coming out of their hands. That actually reminds me a lot of a book called Heart of Darkness. <laughs> if you read that book, uh, they explain the guns as uh, people who have the ability to shoot lightning out of their hands. Yeah, just a thing. Um, anyway, uh, let's see, let's see, what to do, what to do. Um, oh yeah, I was going to change out her freaking equipment. Okay, looks like the Power Blaster is my best bet. Oh, dang it, I just unequipped everything. <laughs> and I believe she can only wear armor equivalent to what, uh... Nell can wear. And because she's a little lower leveled, I'm actually going to give her the appointed chainmail. So, I guess I'll just give you the steel? Yeah. <laughs> okay, and also I want to just equip whatever is good. Oh, it doesn't optimize the items, okay. Well, attack would be nice, and... I might want to give her more, uh, defense, but... God dang it. Okay, <laughs> every single time. Okay, I guess I'll just go with defense. Okay, so let's see, what else do we need? Eh, that, that looks good. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> that looks good. Um, okay. Oh, but because she's a different person, I actually wanted to check out the next stuff as soon as we go through here. The Shrine of... The Secret Shrine, or whatever it's called, is right over here. <laughs> In the middle.
I don't know why I wanted to make an E.T. joke from that. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Come on, come on. And look, stairs. A secret passage. I'm... Um... I wonder how I would get the Shrine of Kadan in the first place. Huh. Okay. Now, actually, if you talk to this woman, I believe... Uh, okay. It's this woman over here. If you talk to this woman... You get disintegration hammers, which only work on certain objects. Plus, there's not that many of them. If you are hit... Yeah, this is very annoying. If you're hit by falling objects, you pretty much reset that area. How to use, you just press square to open up the window, press X when you're near things, and then, yeah. Select to retry, that's pretty much just a little thingy where it's just, um, you retry, you reset the area, and I believe you lose the hammers that you already used. So yeah. I'm going to try not to get hit. If you disintegrate something, I really suggest running backward because it's going to land on you, probably. Now, I don't have any engineers uh, to begin with, so let's just go into the actual workshop itself, which is over here. We may also need to buy... Um, I hope not... Oh, well, you know, it has a line at least. But, oh yeah, and if I did need any, I could just transfer them over, like so. But, um, we need engineering, okay. Because she has good engineering, so is Fate, and I believe Cliff has a pretty good one too. Yeah. And the only other engineer here is Roger with 20. Wait. Well, actually, no, Maria, I believe, has an actual skill to go with her uh, inventions. But don't quote me on that. And my freaking uh, bank account was open on my phone. I, for I forgot I signed in earlier. <laughs> um, anyway. Okay, so we want to actually go over to my internet. I would pull it up, pull it up on the Hapogs. Hapage, whatever. I'm gonna just say Hapage. It sounds fancy that way, okay? Um. Uh, I'm just gonna. Whenever the I open up a browser on my computer while this program is running, it kind of just lags the video, and I don't want that. So let's just do this. I'm going to go into my phone, and I'm going to search up, or I'm going to bring up my Star Ocean invention calculator. Come on, come on. I might also want to make another appointed guard, uh, chainmail so that Nell isn't naked in battle because, you know, that would kind of suck, wouldn't it? <laughs> um, and she dies anyway. I'm, it, it doesn't matter. Right, it's called machinery on this calculator. Why is it called machinery? That makes no sense. Fate, Cliff, and Maria. Let's see. Pulse needle, I'm guessing, would be the next one. A uh, thousand to a thousand two hundred. I wonder if I'll be able to do that. Do 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 do, and now it begins. The torments of the stupid God for oh dang it, God forsaken. <laughs> I hate this game. I hate this game's invention guide so much. Ah, oh, dang it! I gotta slow down. I think I should slow down. <laughs> thousand to a thousand two hundred. That is a small, small window. 
And I think it's pretty much anything 1,200 because I think it's a high 1,200. No, it's a low 1,209. It's 1,095 to 1,209. That is the smallest godforsaken thing it! I looked down on my phone when I pressed X again on that one. Okay. Every time it hits four digits, I'm just going to stop it, and yeah. Also, I should back off from the mic. I just noticed that it's actually very loud. Um, anyway. Uh, let's see. Come on, come on, come on. Just give me one. And then if it doesn't work, I'm just gonna move on to frickin' smithing that appointed chainmail. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Almost there. And you know, this isn't for good for my throat, you know, LPing like this. That's a little too low. Of course, I'm, I'm tempted to start yelling at the freaking game. Okay. I'll go two times and then I'll stop. So one, because it's like a 31% chance. Pulse Needle! Hey, well you know I got it. Okay. Um, is that the only other gun I can make? Photonic Blaster. Wait, is that the thing? Wait, does she already have the Pulse Needle? Oh, don't tell me I just made something she already had. That, that would kind of suck, wouldn't it? No, she has the Power Blaster, which is... Okay. So let's see... Oh, the Pulse Needle has a little bit more attack to it. Okay. Also, I should go to the Invention Info. I haven't seen her for a while. Hello, how's it going? I can't file the patents. Apparently someone's already made it. Did I already make it and I just didn't realize? Huh. Okay, whatever. No, I remember. Uh, dang it. I forgot that once you equip something, it doesn't exactly uh, count as being in your inventory. It's so stupid. Okay. Well, that was quick. Jeez. Okay. Whatever. The Photonic Blaster is next. 11% chance. I'm only- Oh my god, it costs a lot. Okay. I'll only try once to show you guys, but it's like... Uh, 5,000 to 5,600 for one time. Yep. Son of a gun. <laughs> okay, now we just wait until I get a five- Four digit number, five digit would kill me. Yeah, that's about good. So, one time. If it doesn't make, oh well. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> um, okay. So, who's the best smithers? Smitheries. Um, well, not you. Oh, you're just a little bit better than everyone. So, Audrey. <laughs> Okay, so I want to go smithing, and I want Fate, Audre, and Cliff in this group. Cliff, where's Cliff? Ah, there he is, okay. I don't know my alphabet. Um... Astral armor, <laughs> that'll be way late in the game. Appointed... It's not... What the? Where is it? Oh my god, don't tell me Audrey can't make it. Uh, well, I did make it with uh, Nell. Hold on. I need to see how all the inventors are in the list. Come on. Okay. Twenty-five. Gretz is the same as Nell. Doesn't exactly look like Gratz has a modifier with him, so he's useless. Okay, let's just put in Nell and see what happens. Because I know I made it, I just don't remember who the people I made it with was. It was Nell, Fates, and Cliff, I'm guessing now. That's weird, I can't even find it on this list. Who the heck made it? 
Oh, that's killing me. Am I just passing it? Or maybe I'm getting the name wrong. Hold on. Right. Wrong person. Well, it's called Anointed Chainmail, but... I don't see it still. It has to be smithing, right? I mean, it can't be anything else. Maybe I got it from something. Eh, whatever. I'm not caring anymore. I'm just gonna optimize. Okay. Let's just go. Shall we? <laughs> oh, but <laughs> I love doing this. Okay, so if you set your leader to Mar Maria... Look who's running around. Oh, okay. It doesn't do that. I thought it did that for this one, but I guess not. Because I remember it does it for Tales of... The Tales of games. It does it for... Those other ones that I can't think of. But oh well. I guess this one's mostly based on, um... Who's in the middle of the formation, pretty much. I'm gonna do a loose line like normal. Okay, so it is time to run in... Wow, perfect timing. It is time to run into uh, the shrine of Kadan through the sacred... Sacred whatever it's called. Um, oh, I know if you need to recharge your hammers, which you might, uh, you can just talk to her and she'll give them to you. She also just re-describes them if you really want to have that. So anyway, let's go, and I will show you the awesome power